Hi, so I want to do an order pro walkthrough with you. I'm going to close out um, a Facebook party and uh, I just want to show you how I use the different categories like full retail, free hostess rewards, half price rewards, and the party bonus books. Okay, I won't get too much into uh, like how to divide up the party bonus books, but I will kind of explain how it works when you close out a party. So we're just going to log into the consultant page first so we can get to Order Pro. Nobody said this was going to be easy. <laughs> I need background music apparently for this video. Okay. This paperclip over here is going to take you to Order Pro Online. Oh, good, not as long. And then right here in the left corner, I'm going to put New Order. And hopefully, when you um, figured out your rewards with your hostess, you got her information. I'm not going to put it here because obviously that's personal, but you're going to fill in address, city, state, zip, phone, and email. This tax rate will change based on the shipping. So do not forget this. This is crucial. You do not want the books to ship to you, and then you have to pay shipping to get it to your hostess. So more likely than not, you're going to have to change this. I mean, it's not letting me because I didn't put the address in, but you're going to change this to hostess, okay? Next step. Order name. This is just for your purposes. Just, you know, when you look at your list, how are you going to remember what it is? Don't like don't do anything here. If it's your Facebook party or a home party, you leave this alone. Also leave your PO number alone, but change the party date. So her party was on the 6th. And then if you're in your incentive period and they made it to 250, you can offer your double hostess rewards, which I will be doing. Um, and you can only do one or the other. So that's it for this one because that is the better deal. Okay, next you're gonna just import event right here in this blue circle. I'm gonna find that person's event, select it. And then to see that it imported right here, you'll see the total sales and we see it. So, as you can see, her sales are not 250, but I said she was gonna get those double book rewards for a 250 show, right? So she's actually so close that she's gonna add some full retail to her order. So I'm going to go back to our Facebook message, which I don't believe I have open and ready. So let me get that. Um, Cause it has the link to her wish list in there. <clears throat> All right. So uh, what I did was I had her make her wish list, and then I had her tell me which ones she wanted for the full retail. So let's check it out. All right, so full retail you're always gonna do first, so that way we get the rewards when we want them. So Jungle Magic Painting Book and Awesome Doodle Pad. So here's how I do that. I like to use the ISBN number because then I know that no typo of mine is messing it up. All right, so we have that copied. We are in the full retail section, and then I'm gonna search by ISBN. Probably starts with this fine. I always go to contains just I don't know. I feel like there's a little more flexibility there. And then click add. And then you'll see at the bottom here that it got added. Okay. Okay. Let's get the other one. Oh, and I'll, I'll click it off, especially if it's a big list, just so I don't forget what I did. So let me click that guy. Go back to Order Pro. Search for it. Found it. Done. Okay. Now let's go up to the total. Look, 253. So her rewards should be doubled. Let's check free host rewards. Yep, it's at 80, so perfect. Now, I want to do the party bonus books next because I want to get them off of her wish list since they're the ones that I'm giving her for free. Um, but for me, it's going to be 65% off. So let me explain that real briefly. So you can see here it says allowance remaining. So Usborne, at every closeout of your party, it gives you they give you $50 um, that you can purchase, so $50 in books. But when you cash out, they're going to be 65% off. So this is a great way to incentivize your hostesses to, you know, kind of do the actions that you want them to do to have a more successful party. So however you do that, 
great. There's so many ideas out there. Um, I'm not going to talk about them here, but one thing that I do is I give a free shine a light if they have a qualifying party. Gina did have a qualifying party. So I'm going to head to her wish list and see which shine a light or book of equal value she put on there. All right, so here's a shine a light. So that is it. So I'm going to copy the ISBN. I'm going to check it off so I know I already did it. I'm in the party bonus books, so let's add away. Okay, perfect, it's down here, it's added. And then I know, because I just recently checked, I owe her $20 in free books. So then I kind of glance over their list and see what fits in there the best. So she has two, oh, she wants, I didn't even realize she wants several of these. So I can add two of the unicorns or I can add one and one, whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make two of the unicorn books her $20 in free books. So let's do that. Quantity two, add, bam. There we go. So party bonus books are done. Now next I'm gonna do free books because we wanna make sure we use all of their free hostess rewards before we make them pay the half price, right? So let's go add the other two. Okay, I'm gonna add the other two unicorn magic paintings before I forget. <laughs> Add those, and then as you're adding, you can see the total is changing. So you can always kind of glance at their wish list, make sure that you're fitting the books in appropriately, right? Because sometimes they don't kind of put it in order of their rewards, and you have to make it fit as best as you can. So I do like to kind of keep an eye on the allowance remaining so I can do the best I can for them. All right, so let's just keep going. It looks like we're good for a bit. Actually, I'm not sure she even went into her. Ooh, look at that, $42 for each of those. So let's double check how much we have left. We have 50 left. So let's see if I can even make that work. So you guys are gonna experience this with me. So 42, 42 plus a $15. Okay, so that's not gonna fit perfectly. So I think we might end up giving her a little overage here. So sometimes that happens where it just doesn't fit right. So she only has $8 left. So either we don't use the $8 or, yeah, because with this $15, she's going to go over. Or maybe what we have to do is take away some of the $9.99 ones. And maybe I'll give her two of the houses. This is what happens live, people. So I'm going to actually take this off and I'm going to take these off. And since she had the $80, I'm going to do the two houses and we'll just go a little bit over here. Um, and then let's go to half price. So see how I kind of had to change things around a bit? Sometimes that happens. All right, now I'm really gonna have to work and remember. So I have to add two of these now that I had everything checked off and I changed it. That does happen sometimes. So we need two of those, right? All right, let's see if she stayed within the half price. I believe one of these needs to go here. At the end, we'll check. So I'll show you how I check that at the end. Okay, we finished that, remember, for the free. And then we still have this guy. Hope you're following. <laughs> Okay, and then look at that, she has five half price left. So at least that kind of fit. So the last thing I do to check is go up here where it says books selected. So in total, I have 11 books. Let's count the books on her wish list and make sure the number matches. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Bam, we did it, okay. And there was only a slight overage, which sometimes that just has to happen. Um, let's check our cost breakdown. So here's how I figure out cost breakdown, and I can kind of show you how the party bonus books worked out. So party bonus books are step four here, and they totaled in $32.97, but I'm not paying $32.97 because I get 65% off. I'm only paying $11.54. So, um, that's a nice deal, right? It's a great way to incentivize your hostesses and really um, not be spending too much of your own money or you know too much of your commissions. So then all I do, oh, I go down here to the total. So 76.35, that's her total for tax, shipping, half price, everything. And I subtract my party bonus books because she does not pay for that. That is me. She will pay for the tax and shipping, but she will not pay the 11.54. So I say 76.35 minus 11.54, that is her total. 
And then where you find, so you can break down the cost for her, you're gonna always show her the $2 hostess fee that's in place of taxing her on her free books. So good deal, right? So $2 hostess fee and then total shipping and handling right there and then tax due right there. And that should total your end total minus the party bonus books, if that makes sense, okay? Cool, I'm not gonna get into how I actually close out with my hostesses, but that is Order Pro. Um, actually, you know what, I should show you this though, sorry. So once you give your hostess the info, the cost breakdown, tell them what they owe. Um, you don't have to say what you're paying, that's fine, just give them their, their portion. What you're gonna do is down here, click add a new customer payment. You're gonna input what they owe, so you have to hand type that in. And then their payment information, click add. Okay, and then make sure yours is in here. So I would finish mine up and then I will click next step and it's gonna confirm exactly what is going on my consultant credit card, which would be the 1154, right? And then it's gonna confirm what's going on theirs and it's gonna tell you what you have left, like if you have half price bonuses left, if you have any party bonus books left, just to kind of give you um, confirmation, like is this what you wanted to do? And then you can go ahead and pay. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you the mini books because I know this is a question a lot of people have. This, um, the party bonus books, when you check out your launch party, or sometimes if I am checking out my um, Write Your Own Success Story free book rewards or a home office free book reward or award, um, I will get some mini books I'll stock up. So title contains, well actually you're gonna order this in your party bonus books or whatever, but just know you're gonna go into somewhere. Title contains the word mini, and then I like to sort by price because I wanna see that, and then check this out. No, that's not even right, title contains, hey, hello. There we go, <laughs> I had to click submit or search again. So here you can see all of your mini books. These are great to order with party bonus books from your launch party or like I said, when you have any free rewards to cash out. Um, all the unicorn ones gone. But um, these are great to give out as gifts because you're gonna get them, you can get them 65% off. You can get them with your free host rewards if it's your launch party. I'm pretty sure I have some of some rewards left to use. Yeah, I have 151 rewards to use right now just from recruiting. So I'm going to stock up on some mini books. Um, so that's where you find those. And there are tons you can get. So hopefully that little walkthrough was helpful to show you how I close out a party. And that is it. Thank you so much, you guys. Good luck. If you have questions, just let me know.